I feel while I'm watching that. I know that our therapist said that I need to bring you into our decision making more, but it is really hard to want to do that when you can't make a single freaking decision! Every decision I make is for you, Claire. That is exactly the problem. I need you to have an independent thought outside of me. I am begging you to be selfish. Oh, oh so me trying to make you happy makes you mad? Yes. Oh, great. Because I want this to feel like a team effort. I want to feel like you want to do this as much as I do. Because or else, why are we here? You know, we agreed that we need a common interest to be working towards right now, and that that would be best for us. I know, Claire. I know we'll get back on track. Good. Because things have been too distant between us lately. All this tension building, and I hate it. I know. But I love you, and we're doing this together. This is for us. For us? Yes. Give me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. What should we do with him? Uh, we need to definitely hide the body. If mm. anyone comes in here, they'll see. Oh, we could burrito him up in the sheets and just oh, roll him out. Right, and like stuff Cleopatra, him. just yeah. hide her in a room. Yeah, maybe stuff him, stuff him inside a, a folding chair. Who says you can't learn from yeah, history? Right. Let's... Start talking, slugger. I love you. I'm sorry. Just, okay, deep breath. Please. Kev, help me understand. I was feeling stifled in my job because it was day in, day out, day in, day out. Crunch the numbers, punch the clock, kick ass, eat a salad, come home, go to sleep. And it was killing me. And I quit my job and I'd regret it forever if I didn't. And I'm sorry. And I think you're kind and patient and hot the end. You quit your job too? I was scared that you'd tell me I couldn't or that I was being crazy. Okay, well, literally all the other stuff was the crazy part. I'm sorry. I suck. No, babe, you don't suck. You just have to be able to trust me. I'm gonna need a new job. Like now. Yeah, well, at least until that sweet, sweet video game cash starts rolling in. Diana, there is something that I need to tell you. You know, girl to girl, roommate to roommate, you know, best friend to best friend. I already don't like this. Um, okay, so you know how last month your dad was visiting and you were gone and you left him alone in the house? Well, I was actually home doing laundry and he could not figure out the Keurig machine. He actually ended up spilling coffee all over his shirt, which is kind of cute. <laughs> Natalie, tell me you're not saying what I think you're saying. Oh, no, 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 God. I swear I did not use up the rest of your good detergent again. I promise. Uh, but I did maybe kind of sleep with your dad. You kind of slept with my dad. Kind of, a little bit. What are you doing? Oh, I'm on a date. With? With you. you no, know, it's not exactly how I pictured it, but you did blow me off the first time. No, there was no first time. Oh, there was. Last week, as a matter of fact, in the cafe. <laughs> I was working. Who doesn't have a phone number? <laughs> oh, okay. and it's Jenny, right? Oh, you remembered. My mom thinks I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, do you want to go on a, in, in a couple days, maybe hang out on Monday? Oh, yeah, Monday would be great. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's wide open.